Reunited and it feels so good. A thief stole a woman's car from the eastern shore. She wasn't so concerned about the car. It was her dog inside. She was desperate to get back. Ten on your side, Jason Mark shares the happy ending to this story. Everybody just says that we were very lucky and I agree with them. Monday morning at the Walmart in the small eastern shore town of Olney, Caroline Lewis almost lost her best friend. She's just everybody's friend. Lewis ran into the store for some groceries. The car was running and when she came out, things weren't right. There was a car near where mine was parked and I walked up to that car and it wasn't mine. So then I turned around and looked and my car was not where I parked it. Even worse, Piglet was inside. I mean, naturally we wanted a car, but no, that was not our first concern at all. She was very frantic. Uh, she was more worried about the dog than she was the vehicle. Police were able to get a picture of the man driving over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Fortunately, the car had GPS. Uh, that vehicle was tracked to a certain location in Greenville. Three and a half hours from Accomack, Greenville, North Carolina police found the car. But she's the type of dog, she wag her tail twice and say ho-hum. She thought she had a great trip because she loves to ride. Piglet was tied to a pole in a nearby shopping center. He could have dropped it off, and if he did and just walked away and had caused no problems, we would have never identified him. Fernando Lorenz was identified after he allegedly ditched the car and set an East Carolina patrol cruiser on fire. But I feel like he did wrong. But I do, as I said, I think he did have a good heart because he could have disposed of Piglet. Lorenz is behind bars. Piglet back home. Some would say both right where they should be. It was just wonderful. That's, <laughs> it was, oh, it's just like a blessing was answered. It was just wonderful. Fernando Lorenz is being held in the jail in Greenville. I'm told that charges are pending for him here in Accomack County. That's the latest here in only Jason Marks, 10 on your side.